All right, folks, this is the Pickens County Courthouse, Jasper, Georgia. Friday, October, yeah, October. February 23rd, I believe. It's beautiful up here with the uh, mountains in the background. A, uh, World War II memorial in front of the uh, courthouse. Old Glory, state flag. I guess that would be the Pickens County flag. The outside of the building is done with marble that was probably dug out of the ground right here at Marble Hill, Georgia, just a couple of miles up the road. They're famous for their marble here. World War One on this side, World War Two on the other side, Korean War, Vietnam, Iraq War. I was just telling my viewers that uh, the uh, outside of the courtroom, our courthouse, was uh, marble and it was taken out of the ground. Uh, just over in this direction, about two or three mile, a place called Marble Hill. There's a few mines out there where they just they go in there and they pull out these big slabs of marble and cut it. There's a there's a place over there. Uh, it's in it's in Jasper, I believe. It's called the Tate House. The exterior is all marble. It's just it's beautiful. Taint. Pink, pink marble. Not taint. No, Tate. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's funny. Listen, we're under surveillance 24 hours. Are we? Yes. Okay. So keep an eye on me. Make sure I make sure I don't hurt myself. Yeah. <laughs> it's a marble hill. And named after Andrew Pickens of the Revolutionary fame, eh? All right. Did, uh... Sharp Mountain. Sharp Mountain's over here off to the west. Did uh, General Pickens have an ID? <laughs> Don't know. Sure just need to find out though. How did we verify that he was a general? I don't know how, how we could do that. I definitely want to get a picture of that sign. No weapons, no firearms, no knives, no umbrellas. Chemical sprays, irritants, tools, chains. Beautiful inside. Thank you. I take it all this marble came from Marble Hill? No, no, no. The brown, really? The brown, 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 brown. It was? It came from Italy. Oh, did it? Yes, sir. It's beautiful. It's Italian marble. That's nice. What about, so I guess the white did come from Tate? 
I'm not sure about why. Or Mar that, is it Tate or is it Marble Hill? This right here uh, is part of the original old building. All this white Marble Hill. Oh, I got you. I got you. I see. I see. Yeah. That's original? The, the white inside. So yeah. all, th this this was an add-on? Yes. Cool. Yes. So was that the outside of the building right there? Yes, it was. Wow. Yeah. This was the red here over here. All this, the face, the original building is rectangular. Right. So all you see here, down here to the doors, are all original. It's all Very good. Building. And everything is cornerstone back here. Yeah, Can I get a picture of that? Sure. Oh, what else got a ski? Got anything else? Metal in your pockets? That's cool. That's cool. That is cool. Oh, I see the difference in the marble, yeah. From the hallway back there, that's all new. Drop it over in the hallway, back is all new stuff. That's You'll new. You'll see a doorway. Yeah. Thank you. He'll show you where the corner's on. Oh, we go. There's corner's here. Somebody else can follow that door. That'd be awesome. That, isn't that neat? So, Look at that. 1853, Andrew Pickens. Oh. Is here. No. This is this is the original cornerstone. They so they, they're standing the in front building. of this. They're standing in front of this. Wow. Look at that. Standing where wow. they were standing, basically. But is that not cool or what? Yeah, but they were outside when they laid the original cornerstone. How long ago was that, sir? Eight, uh, 1947, I think. Uh, 1949. Wow. The old the old the old courthouse burned in 47. And okay. they, they built the, the, which was wood, and then they rebuilt. They built this one and right finished on it in '49. Wow. That is cool. That is awesome. All right, so. All right, so this is up here. So, uh -huh. so they they've this, actually built up the because this looks like it appears to be ground. Right. right. Sod. Yeah. yeah. The foundation. The foundation is actually below down below. Here, down below oh. here. See, I mean, cause this, this, this is right here. Uh huh. So there's actually what about three feet? Yeah. And we actually below the sign. Down, we actually go down two, two stories below us. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I love the South, man. I'm originally name? from Connecticut. I love it. I wish I moved down here 30 years ago. I love it. You get a good picture of that. Isn't that cool. This will make a good story. This is awesome. You then this is right? this. This was all. This was all landed on. This was all added on. So everything from that wall that way is everything original. Everything from from this from that this wall. Let me show you. So what was the footprint of the the building, sir? The original building was the footprint for the original building is rectangular, and it was it stopped here. This was the back of the courthouse. Oh, and it went that way. And no, it went that oh, way. Went this way. Oh, oh so this way. is back. Oh, the outer this part is, is back. Right. I see what you're saying now. This, okay. this is in the uh, northeast corner of the building. Yes, sir. Right here, and every and the building went. East, okay, I got it now. And south. Let's call it it. These walls could talk, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I've been I've been working in this courthouse now for twelve years, uh, off and on for twelve years uh -huh. basically. Uh, worked in the old courthouse, which was just the old one, and there originally was a there was actually a wing on the other end of the courthouse that went like a foot, this way, like a little leg kind of thing. Yeah, it was, it was right. an L shape. Yes, sir. It was an L shape, and then behind this building was an annex building. Like a self standing? Uh, it was a separate uh, self standing building. It was an a annex building um, that was built in 82, I think, something like that. 83, and when they, when they, when we added on and rebuilt this courthouse, that building was, was torn down. So they uh, could go back uh, see, with I this building. I got you. Uh, they, and it was, and believe me, it wasn't, it wasn't any any shape at all. Yeah, yeah. It was wooden, all wooden. And when uh, they took the walls out, pushing. when they took the walls out, yeah. all the studs were rotted at the bottom. Wow. We don't know why, been how the wall yeah. was even standing. Shouldn't have been standing. But, yeah. Did you guys ever find anything in the walls? Like my, so my aunt, 
um, Water House in Long Island. Mm -hmm. And back in the day, back in the, you know, the, the, the early uh, century, they would put, uh, so the guy owned a um, movie theater. So he used to take the posters because he was too cheap to buy insulation. Mm -hmm. And he'd stick it in between <laughs> the walls. So it's like newspaper or something. A ton of money. Yeah, so they sold the house because they, yeah. uh, they had a water leak. So they opened uh -huh. up the walls. And it was all like Casablanca, like all, all these, all these movie yeah, posters. yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah. it was crazy. That's cool. And he used to just cool. stuff them in there for insulation. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. Uh, as far as I know, as far as I know, when they tore, when they took out that other end of the building, uh, it also it had the uh, the old furnace and uh, and everything in it. But as far as we know, there wasn't anything found was that they furnace? didn't expect. Coal? Coal furnace? Coal it was, it, no, it was a uh, steam furnace. Steam furnace. Wow. They had that must have been late to get out. Yeah, and they had <laughs> and all the all the rooms, all the rooms had the old radiators. Yeah. Yeah. There the you go. Yeah. Rotten. Condensation. Well, that was that was actually the back in the day. The annex building, which was all rotted, actually was a uh, was more modern. And it was had gas. It was gas, heat, right. uh, and an air, uh, an air unit uh, in it. The Have a good weekend. You too, dear. Week. Yeah. Uh, this building was steam uh, itself, and uh, the. And one th something interesting about this building, though, is that we only had one courtroom, and it was upstairs on the second floor, and it was round. The courthouse was the, round. The the courtroom itself. Right. The jury sat in round half circle, facing the judge, and the two, the defense and prosecution tables sat facing each other. It must have been pretty uncomfortable. And and the and and, and, and they had the jury behind them. So Dif it different was, way of doing it, huh? Yeah. yeah. They see everything Maybe they were onto something. And well, it was supposedly when they built, when they rebuilt this courthouse in '49, there was supposedly a it copied a courthouse out in Missouri, someplace that mm. someone had seen, mm. and they liked the layout of it, and they brought that idea here uh, to see, you know, for the uh, for our courtroom. Yeah. But it, but see, there was no there was no elevator. So everyone, you know, uh, any handicapped person or whatever, actually had to be hooked right. up the stairs. Right. The thing. actual stairs. Didn't have the ADA back yeah, then. This, this door here was actually an outside door. And when you went in, the stairway was on your right as soon as you went in the door. And we had, and when we had to actually physically carry people in wheelchairs up the stairs into the courtroom. Wow. Uh, you usually had to do that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, we had to carry any any handicapped person. We actually had to thought of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, didn't think about it, but but it was you know the only way to do it. Yeah. There was no handicap access to the yeah. building. Yeah. The, there was front out front here. The actual entrance to the courthouse was in the center of the building, where if you look up, you see the clock on the front of the building. Mm -hmm. Right. The doors were actually right underneath the clock. The clock. Right underneath right. the clock, yeah. and there was actually a I steps, a the steps that came up to the front entrance. So there was no handicap entrance to the to the building, uh, well, other than what you had to actually carry them in, right. bring them, bring so them that's right here, then, right? Sir? That's right there. Yeah, that actually was the so doorway. So just framed in a that like was a window. doorway. Mm -hmm. They just uh, put a window in. Do they do they have on the walls like you know, like the older buildings? They have like you know like every year they take a picture, if you will, like through the years of. of, of that, there like the are history, yeah. There's a there's a. Couple of pictures of the uh, of the old courthouse, which was which burned in '47. There's a picture of it here. I don't know if it's here on the second floor. Can we go with that? Uh, yeah, sure. Awesome. We we just can't go into courtrooms. I love this. Um, uh, no, you can't. Yeah, you can't take. Well, the courtrooms. No one. There's nothing going on in the courtrooms. We finished for the day in the courtrooms. I know. I have to get a rule twenty-two to film over there in Dawson. That right there is. Oh, here we the go. Picture they've got of the uh, of this this courthouse now. Uh, the second floor is where the pictures of the old courthouse is. On there. Yeah. So now, do you get? I'm just curious. So, so we do a lot of. Um, 
photography and so forth. Do you, are you kind of current, like on the First Amendment, like do you get, do people give you a hard time for the, the county? Probably the only ones that ever come up here to do this, man. Well, yeah. what we, what we, it just can get resistance. So, you know, so well, let's, let's put it, yes, um, any, any filming or uh, in the courtroom, when court is in session, you know, when court is in session, has to, has to be approved by the judge. Well, like, other than that, like let's say walking the property, you know, like taking, taking pictures. It's just sometimes we get resistance uh, from, you know, like, um, for instance, we drive and then uh, like a Google will give like a police station a bad review for whatever reason, mm -hmm. and we go, you know, just to, you know, to check if it out. Yeah, I mean, if we, you're on, some people if get upset. The courthouse is public property. Right. So if you're on a sidewalk, if I mean, you're, if you're on the like sidewalk you're taking pictures. Right. So you seem current on that though, but some people, mm -hmm. and not to be, the, you know, there's. The same people, right? You know, right. Individuals, yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot, a lot a of individuals interpret things differently, and a lot, and you might have some jurisdictions that uh, that don't want the publicity right. or don't want pictures. And depending on what's going on at but the you time, seem educated, if right, something you bad has happened, right? You know, they don't want, they don't, they say so they, they might not want someone there taking pictures of, yeah. of individuals there working or, you know. But so. do you think that trumps? And I'm just. It just seems like you're very analogy, mm -hmm. but do you think that that trumps somebody's right to, like the First Amendment to film? Like if they're on, if they're in public, the you know the verbiage is that if you're in public, you could film whatever your eyes can see. Yeah. And I and I and I understand that, especially you know you know I feel you know in Florida, and I get that. But is how do you how do you balance that out? Like being being you know an officer of the law, like it, it seems my like you're very con respectful. My concern, like, my concern is yeah. if. Unless you're breaking the law, an actual law, right? Unless you're breaking an actual law, yeah. then I don't have any right to stop. So you you get it. So it's it's like do you get a little frustrated watching it, and, and, and I don't want to you know kind of put you out there. What, but what gets get, me frustrated is when I see when I see people that that take the First Amendment and use it to their advantage. Uh, and they're actually, and they're actually trying, trying to tell you that like it's agitate, their, agitate, yeah, you know, yeah, it's, it's their First Amendment right, right to stop you. But in reality, it's your First Amendment right to be able to take pictures. Right. Um, and and it's you know unless you break, you know, and I think most law enforcement officers will tell you unless you're breaking the law, I don't have any jurisdiction. Yeah. I don't, you know, I mean, if you can go out and do things. But if it's not illegal, right? Then. So, do you have an opinion on like, like when? Uh, and I don't mean to put you on the spot. I just you seem educated in that. So when if, when someone gets frustrated, that's that's like like somebody that has authority, like a police officer or someone, and they say, well, you're loitering, or you, you know, you're trespassing. You know, if you're on the sidewalk, does that? The, the, where does that come into play as far as like how you view that? And I, I think there's a uh, there's 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 well, on both sides of the. I mean, I've seen I've seen both ends of it. Whereas you've got some people that apply, who take who take the the law, and they use it to their advantage or in their mindset, mm -hmm. this is what it should be, and you can only so their interpretation. There's they're, they're, they're strictly black and white, okay, and they they deal it as strictly a black and white issue, whereas. It's either yes or no. You're either breaking the law or you're not breaking the law. And so it's their matter? interpretation. There's no gray area as yeah. far as they're concerned. Yeah. You know, and there's their interpretation of what breaking the law is as far as just, just like out from here. We've got a sign out there that says that gives you a list of items that you cannot bring into the courthouse. Right. Well, there's been deputies and people who have who have said, well, we don't need to be bringing lanyards in either, uh, because it could be used as a weapon. No. Right. Okay, but there's no sign out says out front that says you can't bring the lanyard in. So they have taken their opinion, right? right. Okay, and they're enforcing their opinion okay. of what should be enforced, right. uh, where it's not actually there's nothing out there that says they can't. Right. Specifically, or specifically, that specific says that, but uh, weapons would fall under that. I mean, because potentially, and I, 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 it's their interpretation, right? Right, right. See, it's but their some, interpretation. It's just like you can't bring anything in that could be used. All right, let's just say 
you can't bring anything in that can be used as a weapon. Right, like a that right there. Right, right. It's a weapon. Right, right. That right there could do just as much damage to someone as someone who brings in like say, a ice pick or something. Right, or an ice pick. Right, right. an ice pick. Right. Okay. That could be used as a weapon. So it's it's their interpretation as far as what a weapon, what a weapon is. So do you think that goes on both sides? Like, I, I, I and you probably see it more. Uh, or on the side of what people, you know, the laymen, I guess, if, if you will, that mm -hmm. come in versus for like officers. But do you think the same is true that officers, like, let's say, uh, let's say we didn't have a good report and we're out there filming and you say, we're, you, keep, you know, you move along because you're loitering, you can't take pictures. Do you think that, that people in, in, that have, uh, for lack of words, power or, or, or you know, mm -hmm. do you think that they interpret the law Viewing us as loitering or trespass, like you know what I'm saying? Like, can you trespass? I, they, 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 they're take, I, I look at it as they're taking their personal feelings, interjecting. Exactly. It, there you go. Right. Interjecting it, using it. Exactly. There you go. In order to to force you to do something they want you right. to do. Instead of following right. the letter of the it's law, they, they, they let the their the whims. Law, right. and, and forgetting about their own personal feelings. I mean, I may see you out there and I say, I hate that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate <laughs> that guy standing out there filming. But he's got a right to do it. Yes, sir. Right. See, I mean, you know. We, so it goes both ways. Right? Right? Exactly, and that, that's that's you know because we do film quite a bit, and sometimes we get resistance. And I have the utmost respect for officers in the military. I, I, I am, I am uh, pro uh, all of that, and I, I do believe there's a give and take. And I and, and I think you guys do have a hard job. Oh my God, they have I a hard job. People, they don't get I paid think, enough to do it. But I think. I think that the problem is that sometimes that, that uh, and I had a really good friend that, that passed away as a cop, he was my best friend, and, and I see what it, a toll it took on him, but I think, you know, in the world now, there's such a disconnect between the police and the public that it, your, our interaction was great, this is how it should go all the time, and mm -hmm. I think what's frustrating being on this side of the, of the, the law, if you will, that I think that you, that, that the, the, you know, police and, and, and people within authority that if you just kind of presented yourself like that, and, and listen, it's not going to work all the time. There's there's bad guys on both sides of the oh, yeah. on, on the both sides. But when somebody's being cordial, I don't I, I don't think it's too much to ask for an officer to say, well, you know, exactly what you said. Well, you know, look, you're not breaking the law, and you know, have a good day. Versus being confrontational, say, look, you know, you're loitering, you're you're uh, you know, listen well, to me, it's a lawful. You're always going to have that Why? one one guy out there that wants to yeah, escalate exactly. things. Yeah. And it goes both sides. And, and, we, not saying, and we've had and we've had that one guy. <laughs> oh, sure, yeah. Courthouse. Oh, okay. See, but he's not working here. Anymore. Yeah, yeah. He did the right thing, you know. Yeah. And he he could be very confrontational over minor stuff, very right. minor stuff. But that was him. Small stuff. That was he was yeah. he was black and white. It was either. And sometimes that's not bad. Like I don't think that's a bad thing. But well, within the right, if you're you know if you're if when you're dealing with the public, yeah. When you're dealing with the public, you're going to find people who are. Friendly and cordial, and we'll will say, "Oh, I'm sorry." You know, right. I mean, we found guns in women's purses, <laughs> and they weren't bringing it. They weren't cause. They weren't right. bringing them in to cause any problems. No. I mean, some probably some just some forgot. Officers, it, right? Some officers, if they had found that, yeah. could women, we literally could have arrested them for bringing that weapon mm -hmm. into the courthouse. Mm -hmm. Now, but you take into account who they are, and you say. She said, oh, God, she said, I was coming in. She said, get, get my carry license, uh, you know, get uh, renew my carry license. Right. I forgot I had it. Right, right. You know, and I said, please take it back out to your car, mm -hmm. please. You Thank know, you. and they said, I'm sorry, sir, apologetically, you know, I mean, just go, you know. Right, right. And so we take them, just send them back, let them take it, put it back in their car. No problem, you know, and, and it's over with, right. you know. So you're saying that this is other officers, right. other officers, 